30 day digital product creation master plan to create products that sell. Today you will discover the ultimate blueprint for creating your first profitable product and having it ready to launch in just 30 days. It's easier than ever to create a business based on selling digital products and you can get started selling digital products for free which is fantastic for those who don't have any money to invest in a new business. However, because the barriers to entry for this business model are so low, meaning that anybody can do it, the competition is higher than ever. But you don't have to worry about competition because I'm going to share my secrets with you today about how to stand out from the crowd and create a digital product that people actually want to buy. I am going to walk you through all four steps to creating your profitable info product process today. So the four steps of the process of the profitable info product process are number one, purposeful master plan. Number two, product creation. Number three, profitable promotion. And number four, provide support. So let's look at each one in turn. So step one is your purposeful master plan. So the secret to creating a profitable product is to put a little bit of thought into what it's going to look like before you start creating it. Because most people just end up creating a product without any pre-planning whatsoever and it ends up costing them so much time and money because they don't end up making any money at all from their product. They just didn't create a product that anybody actually wanted. And I'm going to help you avoid this by talking you through my essential purposeful master plan. So whatever you do, don't skip this stage as this is where the gold lies. So the first step in this process is low ticket versus high ticket. So so the first step in this process is to decide whether you are going to offer a low ticket or a high ticket product for sale. And I highly recommend that you start by offering a low ticket product for sale as your first product, because it's so much easier to get started in business by making it easier for customers to buy from you. And I have gone into detail about this before, about low ticket versus high ticket. So just go and check that out. And in a different lesson, I am going to go into low ticket versus high ticket in a lot more detail. So stay tuned for that. But just to give you a quick summary, I recommend that you sell high ticket products only to existing customers because once someone has bought from you once, they are much more likely to buy from you again and spend more money the second time around. So I suggest that you start by brainstorming a list of low, medium and high ticket price products that you could offer for sale to take your customers on a journey from a small result to a large result. So what type of products should you create? And there are so many different types of digital products that you could create. And here are just a few examples. You could create a video mini course, an audio mini course, templates, toolkits, planners, memberships, workshops, boot camps, audios, library stocks of media. The choice is endless. But the type of product itself actually doesn't matter too much. As long as you don't create something that too time consuming for both you and your audience, such as an ebook or a signature course for your first product, and then you're good to go. So create anything that's quick and easy for you to create and easy and quick for your customer to also consume. So what topic should your product focus on? All topics for products should help people solve problems. So what small problems are you able to help people solve? And here are some examples of problems. I am overweight. I don't have any followers. I don't have any sales. I suffer from acne. Nobody wants to go on a date with me. I keep going for interviews and I never get the job. I'm always late and I keep missing important appointments. So they're just some very common problems that people might have. How can you help these people get small results to help them solve the problem? 
So here are some examples of small results that you could help people to get if they've got those problems. Lose seven pounds, get a hundred followers, make 10 sales, clear up your skin, line up 10 dates with potential soulmates, improve your interview skills, create a productivity system. So now you have selected the topic for your product. Now what you need to do is create something that is better than all of the other products out there. And there are several ways to make yourself stand out. You could make your product better than all of the other products out there by improving on what's already there. For example, if you see all of the other products out there are eBooks to help people clear up their acne, you could instead offer a video course on clearing up your acne, which is much easier to use with visuals on how to implement the techniques that you are describing. You can also make yourself stand out by creating a unique framework like I'm doing right now. I have my four step profitable info product process that I'm walking you through as we speak. So you can create your own process that walks your customers through a journey and teaches them everything that they need to know to get the results. Another way to instantly stand out from the crowd is to create a name for your product that is memorable and it talks about the results that people are going to get. So for example, the name of my product is Dream Business Product. And it shares the benefit, which is that someone is going to get their dream business. And it also shows them how they are going to do it by creating a product to sell. So try and keep your name short and simple. Another great way to differentiate yourself from the competition is to offer some irresistible bonuses as part of your product. So now that you know exactly what product you are going to be creating and how to stand out from the competition, you can begin to plan your actual product. So use your framework that you've already created and just simply fill in the blanks. Write a list of everything that needs to be included under each of the steps of the process. And now you can decide on your price point for this product. And I recommend when you first start to choose the lowest price that you can offer, which makes it easy to test your product and see how well it will sell. And the final stage in the product planning process is to write your sales page. And it's much better to write your sales page in advance because you will use your sales page to help create the perfect product that solves problems. If you create your product first, you'll start writing your sales page based on what you've already created, not on the problems that need to be solved. If you fo focus first on the problems and write in such a way that you've already solved those problems, you will actually go ahead and solve the problems when it comes to creating your product. So step number two of my framework is product creation. Planning the process is essential before you start creating the product. Planning is the difference between success and failure. So to me, it's non-negotiable. And now that you've planned all the details of your profitable product, it's time to get to the practical stuff. And that means to actually create your product, which is very exciting. So let's look at the steps involved in creating your product. Every product needs professional images to be able to sell it well. And thankfully there are so many professional tools that you can use to create images these days, such as Canva, Stencil and PicMonkey. And here are some of the images that I recommend you create. Create some front covers, product images, bonus images, bundles, social media images and images for emails. Now you can start to create your digital products that you will offer for sale. And if you are creating an info product, I recommend you use the Google suite of products to create documents, spreadsheets and slideshows. And all you do is simply type the text straight into the document, insert your images and share the documents with your customers. It couldn't be any easier to create digital products in this day and age. And I don't recommend that you spend any longer than three hours creating your product. Three hours is long enough to finish a product that helps your students get a small solution to their problem. And it's short enough that you are going to be able to find the time to get it finished.
and you don't want to spend longer than three hours creating a product as it's too much time invested for a concept that hasn't been proven yet. When you've created your products, you need to put them somewhere that your customers are able to get them once they've bought your product. And you can start by copying your documents into a Dropbox folder and giving a link to that folder to your customers once they have bought your product. And a really easy way to start making sales is to create a buy it now button from PayPal and add it to your website. And there are more sophisticated ways of offering products for sale, such as adding your products to a customer only online space that offers a shopping cart and automated access to your products. And examples of some of these shopping carts are ClickFunnels, Gumroad, Thinkific and Teachable. The last stage in the creation process is to create a sales page. In this sales page, you will talk about some of the features and benefits of your product that will help someone make a decision to buy your product. And you can copy the text that you already typed into your website, along with some images of your product to create a simple sales page that you can use for all of your product promotion. And there are many different tech solutions that you can use to create a sales page. So you can use a page on your WordPress or other type of website that you've already got. You could use a page on a shopping cart such as ClickFunnels, Thinkific, Gumroad. And once you've created your sales page, this is the asset that you are going to share everywhere to help sell your product. Step three is profitable promotion. So now that you've created your product, I'm now going to show you how to get students using your product immediately and make sales straight away using free organic marketing methods. So as soon as you've finished your product, the very next thing you should do is get your product immediately into the hands of students by asking people to test your product. And if you have an existing audience, you can give a big discount on the price to the initial testers or you can offer it to people who have never heard of you for free. You can post on social media or ask friends if they want to test your product. And you should offer your product to students in return for a testimonial. And these testimonials will help to sell your product. When you have testimonials from students, you can add these to the sales page and share these on your social media and other free content that you share with prospects. You can give small samples of your product away for free so people get a taste of what your paid product is like. And then you can share your free samples and your product on all of your social media and your free content that you offer to your own audience. And if you haven't yet started building up your own audience, you can offer to write guest posts for other people or you can be interviewed on other people's podcasts. And during these sessions, you should mention your free sample of your product. When you start to get customers of your product, you can then ask if they would like to be an affiliate for you. When they share your product with other people, they will get a percentage of the sale, which is a win-win for everybody. Step number four is to provide support. And your support shouldn't end the second somebody buys your product because it's the right thing to do. And it also because people are much more likely to buy your future products if they get a good experience with your first product. And I show you exactly why you should support your students after they've bought your product. So what I suggest you do is ask your customers for feedback and testimonials as they go through your product so that you can use the testimonials in your marketing and use any constructive criticism to improve the product. And another thing I recommend doing is setting up a support group such as a Facebook group or other type of group for students. And this gives them the space to ask you questions and other people will benefit from the answers. Other students will also help each other, which will create a community. And when you create a community around your products, people are much more likely to use them and want to buy more products from you in the future. So if you would like more help with what type of product to create, I have actually created 10 different categories of digital products that are perfect for offering as your first product. 
and I share all 10 different types of products and explain whether each one will be suitable for you and whether each one will be suitable for your audience in my 100k product creation masterclass. And in this masterclass, I also share the ideal price that you should charge for each product, how to create each product, how long each product will take to create, and the free tools that you can use to create each product. And my 100K product creation masterclass is worth $77 and is part of my dream business product program. But I am giving you free access to watch it for a limited time. So you can go to kathkyle.com forward slash product to watch the masterclass now. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.